Hi, this is Elvin Wizard. Today I'm going to be talking about nitro engines. These small, compact, light, powerful, high revving, high RPM engines. This is what's in most RC cars and trucks today. A nitro engine is a two stroke engine, which means that it takes two strokes of the piston to complete an entire engine cycle. As the piston is traveling downward, oxygen and nitro is sucked into the crankcase through the carburetor and then into the induction port and finally into the combustion chamber. I'm going to move over there. Ah. Okay. All right. Can we see it? Kind of. Let's go back over here. Okay. Now, when the piston travels upward, okay, the mixture into the combustion chamber is compressed, which causes fuel to explode and then forcing the piston back down. As the piston travels downward, gas gases are expended outside, out of the exhaust port. Okay, so, and then the cycle starts all over again. And this is all started by the glow plug. And the glow plug is not to be confused with a spark plug. All it does is to heat the, com the um, combustion chamber, to ignite the fuel, and to start this thing running again because most of the combustion that where the firing is from the fuel itself. So it's different from like a standard gasoline engine, but kind of like the, a diesel engine. So kind of got that a rundown of that. Um, as you can see in the nitro engine, we have the high speed, we have the um, idle and low speed, um, the pretty basic, let's see here, carburetor, and there's different types of carburetors, there's the slide type carburetor, and the rotary type carburetor, this is right here, the slide type, and this is from my Schumachers. It's a Pro 21R Thunder Tiger, great engine, and they last a long time, and they're ultra powerful. So I would consider this to be in the big block category of engines. So let's talk. Of, let's go back about the needles on this. You could lean, lean it or rich in it, whichever way when you're tuning. Um, a lean describes the amount of fuel, the air fuel that's going into the carburetor, or you could rich in it how much, how much um, air fuel you want to go more or less. It, you know, that depends on the tuning of the area, the air, how the condition of the, of the, um, the nitro engine, what kind of fuel percentage you're using, all types of factors are in this. In this, um, but with these engines here, this is an ABC engine, which means it stands for aluminum, brass, chrome, and uh, cylinder liner. Let me get my pen. The cylinder liner is brass, and the internal surface is plated with chrome on the surface. So what that does is just prolong life, and it just makes it last longer, your engine. And, and um, most engines today are ABC. Some are ABN, and the N stands for nickel. So like um, the OS engines have nickel. ABN engines and they're, they're really good they're really good um, this engine here as you could see I've had about five gallons oops five gallons through it I rebuilt some of them all it has to do is you just rebuild it with the piston and um, they just last a long time nitro engines I know they've had a bad rap over the years but if you tune them right and you take care of them they last extremely long so let's talk about the fuel 
that is used in the nitro engine and it is um, nitromethane mixed with methanol it's a very high combustible substance and it is generally used for these type of engines or anything modified or racing type engines and um, the nice thing the cool thing about the nitro engine is the small light engine producing so much power and it's they are truly they're truly amazing engines that it's not just just the power but the high rpm that they produce um, I think today more so than electric even the big gas cars nitro is probably the biggest in its category most people have nitro and um, nothing is like nitro the sound the smell of the fuel um, um, you could get electric and electric's nice if you have a neighborhood where there's you know neighbors that just don't like the sound and I can't blame them you know if they want to sleep in in the weekend you know and don't want to be wakened up um, you know electrics the way to go and you don't have you know um, you know if for neighborhood purposes electric is the way to go but when it comes to uh, and when it comes to nitro you don't have to worry about batteries there's a lot of advantages uh, as for that thing of more maintenance well today's nitro engine they are so easy the carburetors are so easy to adjust you don't even have to adjust them you they're not sound like the olden days you just put fuel and clean air filter and don't abuse them and they last an extremely long time you don't have to worry about charging batteries you don't have to ever worry about lipos exploding um, and not to dis electric but electric is great if you have to be in it you know for neighborhood purposes or whatever um, I drive electric my older vintage models I drive and um, no, not drive like a car. I run, control, and they're fun. But the newer stuff today is this brushless lipo cars, and and um, that's great. But they do, they're not always problem free. Okay, um, um, speed controllers do go out. Batteries do get hot and go out explode or whatever you want to call it or nitro engines is the power is always constant it's always there okay you don't have to charge a battery with a nitro engine once the fuel goes out you let it rest for a little bit and then boom start it up and you're gone um, they could be a pain in the ass for people that don't know about these engines because it is a different world nitro engines is a different world um, you know um, oh, another thing about a nitro engine is it doesn't have piston rings like the conventional engines. A conventional internal combustion piston engine has rings to help seal it and keep the combustion gases inside the combustion chamber, where the nitro engine doesn't have rings. Okay, it's just very tight and it's tapered on the top where the liner is. So, uh, and one thing about nitro engines is um, you know you don't always want to like run at long distances you don't want it to overheat um, because they're at such high RPM and with the nitro actually the nitro in some ways in the fuel cools the engine down with the oils and everything in it so they are it's an engine totally different from a combustion gas engine and uh, well 
the nice thing with the gas engines, like my big one-fifth scale models, is that um, you know you could you could change the piston ring, and it's so easy. Where this, and the piston ring's cheap. This, you have to change the whole piston, and pistons, depending on the nitro engine, is not cheap. It really isn't. I mean, uh, I've seen pistons that cost. 40 that's actually cheap the uh, Traxxas TRX point fifteen is um, um, usually let me get over here um, um, 35 bucks or or um, around that area some engines they cost some piston pistons they could cost around sixty dollars I've seen some 80, depending on the engines, you know, an axle engine, Nova Rossi engine. Um, I've rebuilt all of those, and they could they could get very expensive. And if you need a connecting rod, then um, uh, let me get back over here. If you need a connecting rod, you just may need that too. So, you know, uh, now now I'm sounding like I'm dissing nitro. Um, But let's forget that. You know, I think at that point you'll probably be tired of your RCA, I, tired of your RC, nitro RC, and be wanting another RC. So five to eight gallons out of this is a long time of use, uh, and that's pretty good. That's pretty good for what the performance that these engines give you it's not bad you know occasionally to your clutch shoes might go out but you know you take care of these things they last an extremely long time I have dozens and dozens of these I probably have about 40 Thunder Tiger engines I love these engines um, it's an ABC engine uh, most engines are ABC engines two-stroke engine and um, you may have to re replace the, the glow plug after break-in once. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes I have the original glow plugs in there. I run these things. I mean, that's how tough these things are. Uh, at the most, on an engine, two, three times I replace the glow plug. That's it. They are high dollar. They're not cheap five seven dollars sometimes more but um, um, for what you get out of they're well worth it so yeah sure you may get something else that's more reliable um, cheaper on the pocketbook like my gas cars I could go to the gas station I'm just a block away and what's the what's gas today three dollars and uh, 30 cents right now what day is this this is the first February the first I think a cheap gallon but you know what I always get premium when I get the the one-fifth model so it's probably I don't know what the premium I put the cheap stuff in my car but the expensive stuff but it's convenient what I'm saying is convenient for me to to get the on the gas engines um, it's cheap and I don't need a I don't need a a glow plug okay it has a regular spark plug I don't need a wand to start it I just pull on a cord and it goes and gas engines last a long time but do they rev as high as these nope not even close nope. and the power output of these is I don't want to say damn close, even though on specs it says it's about the same power. It's the torque of the gas engines that beat these things out. But um, for um, power to weight ratio on an RC, uh, I have to say these win. The two stroke nitro engine wins. Uh, one thing about these, if you can see the fins, the head of this. Oh, yeah. Never use airplane fuel in these. 
never. And that's because when an airplane, when it's going in the air, it cools a lot better because there's constant air always going through it. Okay, so it doesn't have these type of head. It looks different. This nitro engine is different. This one in an RC land car or truck, monster truck, stops, goes a different direction, um, stops again, goes fast, stops. So it always needs a vent in its body and air constantly flowing through the vents to cool the piston down. And, um, and um, that's why there is a difference. In fact, I caught one person one time going to buy airplane fuel because there was no nitro fuel at the hobby shop. It was all run out, and we thought he could use airplane fuel, fuel in his RC land car. I said, no, uh, I wouldn't do that. I would just stick with what uh, has been given to you. Now, I have an old bottle here. Of that, this is usually I have. Wait a second here. Can we let's go over here? I carry. Um, there's a bunch here. I have so many. I've been through so many gallons of nitro. I have literally somewhere else a pile, a stack, about my height of nitro gallons of fuel that I've been. See, I get this stuff here. Oh, by the way. There will be people that will say, um, this feels bad, this one. You know what? I don't know. I use XTM amongst other ones. I use Losi. I use Brian's Fuel. I use Trinity. I use all these other ones. Um, they're all good. Some may be better than others. But I buy this one is because it's sometimes on sale for 19 something or 22 something. And that's not bad. I mean, some other fuels are $30 a gallon. So, um, my fuel of choice is 20% nitro. Um, do I have a favorite fuel? Um, uh, I do like low C fuel. I had a low C somewhere in here. I don't know where it went. I do like low C fuel. They're very, they're, 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 uh, clear. They're, um, um, really good running. Um, I, I do like low C fuel, but at $30 a gallon, not that I'm a cheapo, and if I see $20 for this, I'm going to go for the XTM. You know, all I do is bash out here and... And, uh, you know, I don't race. I don't really race. So, what the hey, I use this fuel. So, uh, that's it. A little bit of nitro story of what's a nitro engine about. Fuel. I think we covered everything for today. All right.